The Chinese dissident at the centre of a diplomatic storm has told the ABC that he and his family are in danger. Chen Guangcheng is urging the United States government to get him out of China. He left the US embassy in Beijing last night in return for guarantees about his safety, but he's now doubting the sincerity of that assurance. China correspondent Stephen McDonald reports. The tension surrounding Chinese dissident Chen Guangcheng was there to be seen in a Beijing hospital. Reporters caught a quick glimpse of the man who'd given up United States protection for medical treatment and to be with his family. But when he spoke to the ABC from his hospital bed, Mr Chen said he now feared for his safety in China and wanted the United States government to get him out of the country. I want to leave and there are many reasons for this, he said and added that he's very worried his family is in danger. The blind dissident came to prominence for exposing forced abortions in rural China. A week ago, he dramatically escaped home detention and made it into the United States Embassy in Beijing. He was harboured by the Americans for six days and then last night left the embassy as part of a deal ensuring he wouldn't be harmed and could study law. But today he seemed distressed. He told us he left the embassy of his own choice, but at the time he didn't know what threats awaited him outside. The US government doesn't want people to think it abandoned him. He wanted to stay in China. He did not want to seek a political asylum. So uh, we're in a situation now where you know we're going to continue to monitor his case very, very closely. Meanwhile, China and the US are trying to hold their annual summit as if relations between them are normal. It's clear that even they don't believe it. Here at the Chinese Foreign Ministry, they're struggling to manage the international fallout of the Chen Guangcheng affair. Mind you, so are the Americans. This one frightened individual has two superpowers in knots, wondering how to deal with him. Stephen McDonnell, ABC News, Beijing.